welcome to the Den of Debauchery. Sorry, man. It's just it. Uh, it had to be done, you know, because. So the. You need to cut it down to just. Mm, I need my protein. I didn't hear it through that. Yeah, you're right. No. Try it again. Uh, it's because it's not hooked up. Uh, We're having technical yeah. difficulties. You're literally Lady. like hey, nothing is hooked up. Not nothing whatsoever. This this pod this podcast is starting off to an absolute horrible disaster. And we're not even drunk. It's just food. <laughs> nah. Some delicious, delicious smoky bones. No, we can't say that because well, that's, that's a free plug for them. Fuck that. Oh, no, that's true. Oh. They probably, they'll probably sue us just for mentioning their name. By the way. But I had to eat all loved. that meat because... Mm, I need my protein. Yeah. But right there. <laughs> mm, I need my protein. You, you could just end it there. I know. I know, but... Yeah. That's I point. thought that a couple times where I'm just like, yeah. oh, he could have just ended with... Mm, I need my protein. And that's I, it. Uh, well, you know, I... You can talk all the shit that you want, but at the end of the day, you are a guest here. <laughs> and I will not be disrespected on my own podcast. Hey, but have, ladies and gentlemen. We have a new sponsor? We do have a new sponsor. I'm going to do a read for them later, okay. mid, mid-podcast. All right. But yeah, um, I and my podcast have a new sponsor. And you as a guest, um, ladies and gentlemen, the voice that you're hearing, uh Caleb could not make it today. My co-host Caleb uh, unfortunately has to <clears throat> has to work late tonight, so he had to sleep during the day. He's working a third shift, so He's got a we bring jobs. in a brand new to the podcast. Wait, what, ladies and gentlemen? No. Eric Stack. No, I'm not. Are you serious? I'm, d- I'm not new. I started this with you. It's, it's Derek. Yeah, Stop. yeah. We we just started. We just started recording just now. Yeah. No, no, like. I, I was on episode one and a couple after that too. What episode one? Yeah. Oh, you oh you've been listening since episode one. No. That's awesome, man. I'm very happy to have you as a fan. It's one of the reasons I brought you on, dude. Are you serious? Like you don't you don't remember me? It's only been three podcasts. What are you ta- What are you talking about, dude? I used to be your co-host before Caleb. What? Look it up. Maybe you need. Oh, to Oh, you're listening. saying you have your own podcast. Oh, that's cool. We'll give you a little shout out, man. What's the What's the name of it? It's weird. It's uh, we've got the same one where we're competing with De- Den of Debauchery. It's weird. No, that's that's my podcast. I, we're not... competing. Like I've got another channel. It's exactly the same. I think I put a one after it. Oh, is yours Den of Debauchery? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I let Junior name it. Oh, okay. He spelled. Oh, it you it. know Junior? Yeah. That's so cool. He's yeah. he's been Small on my podcast. He's been on my podcast yeah, before. I know. Yeah, has he yeah, been? A- I told you I'm a fan. Yeah, very happy to have you here, Dylan. Um, so, uh, very interesting, interesting fact about uh, Devin here is that he no. uh, just got married and is back from his honeymoon. And congratulations on that. Right. Yeah, the honeymoon phase is already over, though. It's already over. Yeah. As soon yeah. as we got into the. In the United on the, States. On the flight back. No, it was in on customs. On the flight back, I decided I don't even love this bitch anymore. No, it was in customs uh, <laughs> in, in America where where the honeymoon phase was over because I got I pissed her off. How did you piss her off? I was like, I was just like being arrogant, being like, I'm an American. They should have like an, uh, a line to make me go faster. I need an American express lane. I'm like, don't don't you just say... You know, God bless America, and they just like, oh, right this way, sir. <laughs> I just kept saying shit, and she was just so worried about getting through. So is that an example of? <laughs> Only oh if she was on this. Yeah. Oh. If she, if she was, I was fine. I was. Your uh, wife is something that you hate. No, if she was on, if she was on this, she would say shit. I shit. She hates is inappropriate times to joke. Oh. Because I was making, so she I was making you. like Mexican jokes, and she hates like, you. There's Mexicans everywhere. Well, there's immigrants everywhere around because we're going through customs. Immigrants, ew. 
gross. I know. I'm glad Trump is really cracking down on it. Exactly. Shout out to our fear, f- fearless <laughs> orange leader. Love you, Trump. Donald 2020. <laughs> That's not we're, t- we're making this a political show. But uh, yeah, how was the honeymoon, dude? It was awesome. It was great. We went to Jamaica and we were handed everything. I didn't have to lift a finger. It was crazy. Uh, well, yeah, as as white people, obviously, you're handed everything. It is, it is kind of weird because you are like, you're going over there and it's a third world country. Like you look, when we're driving past things, you're like, it looks like it could be like a borderlands. <laughs> like, what? Yeah, like it's like a tropical borderlands. The fences that you see people having is something you see on borderlands where it's like just like metal roofing that they put together and that made, and made a fence. Yeah. And it, it's crazy. There's goats in the middle of the street. We had to swerve for a, a wild dog. And then my driver, I think, stopped and got weed at one point. <laughs> you think? Uh, yeah. He goes, I need to, he's like, guys, you mind if I uh, make a stop real quick? And uh, I need to pick up something from my, my uncle. And all of us were like, yeah, whatever, you know, that's cool. And I'm pretty sure I saw a fucking bag in his hand when he came back onto the bus. Just a plain paper bag rolled up, except for a little clear. bit of the Yeah, it was like clear. But he was like, was he clear? was clearly holding something so small it could fit in his hand. Oh, okay. You know? So I'm like, <laughs> ah, I think he just picked up some weed. Hey, we're uh, we're going to make a little pit stop. And they're, they're, they're open Wait, about was it. Wait, like, was it a Jamaican guy? Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. We're going to make a little pit stop, bomber club. Yeah, he... They all, I don't know if that's like legitimately how they talk or they're just like, hey, um, you know, tourists expect us yeah, to speak tourists. like this. So, yeah, I have to say Bumba Claude. I have to say Mara Marcy. I have to say. <laughs> so, you know, like people that are like. Uh, we have a list of lines that we have to repeat for the smiling white faces of the Americans. Yeah. That, coming it, to this expensive resort. You know how I, I've heard so many times like, oh, you, uh, Americans uh, imitation of us is so horrible. They say Yaman constantly oh that is a real thing yes oh i assume that was made up it's like it's like you know when i say something and i'm like hey like i'll finish a statement and i go right to you that's or something. How they say it. that's that's yaman you know them. what uh brother so uh the british expats over there they uh ended every every sentence was a question like especially when they're going like telling stories about something that happened yeah it's. Did he end it with in it? In it, didn't it? Didn't it, we? In it. Yeah, we were right piss, weren't we? Because we, uh, we, I met a couple from London while we were there. Uh, they went to New York for a week, and then they went to Jamaica, and we were in the in Jamaica at the same time. And he, he was talking to me a little bit, and yeah, he started ending stuff in it. Yeah. Well, we couldn't. It could be. Oh, that's that's some good food, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, man, it was uh, it was great. They are poor, we are rich. Yeah. Um, and uh, the way God intended. Wow. Well, <laughs> something. Something I did uh, think was cool that we passed uh, Usain Bolt's high school and the track, the dirt track that he started out on. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, I thought that was pretty sweet. That was probably the the coolest thing besides like. Uh. uh Jagger, Mike, yeah. uh, he had a house there at one mm. point. They showed us the house he, he used to own. So hold on. You got excited about a house that a celebrity used to live in? No. that's that, I'm saying besides Usain Bolt's high school, <laughs> that was the next like <laughs> that's the thing. famous thing that a they showed us. A famous person used to live here once. <laughs> yeah, someone else bought why didn't it. He, why didn't he live there anymore? I don't know, but there was a country singer that currently has one right on the ocean down there uh, in Jamaica. I don't know which one. I didn't care. To... Was it Garth? Was it G? No. Studio G. And be like, hey, this is Garth Brooks' house. I like you know, that. You know what's weird? I like that. Is your mom's house had Studio Jeans. Yeah. And then all of a sudden we got Studio G. And, and I think he's ripping them off. Yeah. It's a bunch of bullshit. And this is Studio D's. Nuts. Exactly. Is that what you were going for? No, I, I've you... said this before. It's Studio D's. Yeah. I don't like it. D, the den of debauchery, it's two D's. Yeah, double Studio D's. Studio D's. D squared. Yeah, double D. Mm-hmm. The double D's of debauchery. 
I like double D's. It we need to get we needed D's. a female mascot that is just like super super chesty, and we go the double D's of debauchery. No, don't worry, man. I mean, I'm sure girls are lining up for that. And it can have like we'll have like den of debauchery T-shirts. It'll just be like a big D on each tit with a little O in the middle. I was thinking we're going to put Den atop the titties, of on the titties, and then we're going to put debauchery underneath, but she's going to be so busty that it's going to be the, yeah, you can't even see debauchery. Den of, den, den of what? Den, den of what? And then she has to lift her titties for the rest yeah. of it. Yeah. We should, you know what we should do? We should pay somebody to get a tattoo. We should advertise our podcast. Get like a porn star. How much do you think a porn star would charge to be able to tattoo an well, advertisement you think on them? A lot, because that be would fuck up, up right? her. I, I think that would fuck up her career. Of just yeah, she's gonna be tag. she's gonna be den of debauchery girl. I but would, the den I, of debauchery definitely sounds porny too. So people would people I would, would go there just expecting like they'd be in the middle watching like ooh what's the den of debauchery? But that's a hot sight. And then bam, two guys talking about their dicks. I would sponsor a porn star. If I if yeah. I could if I could afford it, I would one hundred percent be on board with this. Like she like every uh every porn she starts in like a, a one of our t shirts. <laughs> every porn before it's ripped off. <laughs> no man, that's that's merch cost. You want to be able to reuse the t shirt. Hose it off and use it again. <laughs> We're always, but it's always gonna be she's not allowed to talk during this because we have They stuff the t shirt in her mouth. Well, yeah, but no, no, no. Boom. She's going to have to mouth sync because we already got the drops for her. She's always going to be working out. She's always going to, you know, need her protein. So. Ah, uh, it hit the wrong button. <laughs> I hit the, you set me up perfect and I, I hit the wrong I tried. fucking button. <laughs> I tried. Uh. Then I'm going to be trying to distract her on the side. And she's gonna, she's gonna, I'm gonna catch her attention. She's gonna get mad at me and yell at me during, during the set. Hey. Thank you, thank you for giving me a chance to redeem myself. Yeah, I had to. We're still working out the kinks. We've never. I was we've... really hoping that you pushed the wrong button on that. Yeah, no, I should have. I should have fucked it up on purpose, but I'm not that clever. I'm stupid. And I was talking about how stupid I was earlier, and fucking. KK Caleb fucking burned me. We were sitting there, and I was like, yeah, it's like it took me a while to realize that I am stupid and actually just accept the fact that I am stupid and not as smart as I wanted to believe. And he's like, hey, man, you're like, out of all my friends, you're definitely, like, top two, like, smartest that I know. And he's like, our other friend, whose name he would probably say if we were telling the story on the podcast. And he's like, then you. And I was like, oh. I was like, I guess that's pretty good. And he goes... How many other friends do I have? I'm like, what? He goes, I only have two friends. And I was just like, oh, you son of a bitch. So of the two friends, you're of the, the dumbest. Two friends, so I'm the dumbest, but also the second smartest. I'm the second everything. <laughs> so the, that's a way, like, that's something Junior would do. Oh, yeah? Yeah, he'd be, you'd be like, no, you're the, like, I have two friends, and you're the dumbest of my friends. And he'd be like, that means I'm the second smartest person you know. Like, yeah, he would, you'd rationalize yeah, it to himself. Absolutely. So. Oh my god, he oh. was so goddamn funny at your wedding. Yeah, he was good. So goddamn funny. I mean, I, I didn't catch any flack off of it yet. Oh, least, so. you didn't. I caught flack, and I wasn't even involved. Like, somebody, like, remember, like, her her sister was not happy. Oh, yeah, yeah. She talked to me about it, and I was like, I, I'm not responsible for Junior's behavior. Yeah, and then her sister felt me up later, like, felt my boobies later, so... I'm like, I beg your pardon? Yeah. She came up behind me and someone just reached around me and was like grabbing my boobs. Oh, yeah. I but I couldn't that. turn I around. That. Like, I was like, who the fuck? No matter where I turned, <laughs> she like dodged the other way. So she was just, uh, uh, uh. damn it. I'm trying to see. It wasn't very fast. She didn't have to move yeah. fast. Yeah. I drank so, so much. So, so much. A lot of people, um, a lot of people enjoyed our wedding. Like, people were going out of their way to let us know. Oh yeah, I had that a, they had a really good time. I had a ball of a time. I was on the dance floor. I would say eighty percent of the night. I it, it's difficult because I wanted to because I'm like I'm throwing a fucking party. I want to be dancing. I want to have a good time. But you had to go talk to everybody yeah. and yeah. yeah, you feel rude if you don't. But 
here's the thing. It's it's not their day. They came to if they get mad because you didn't go out of your way to mention them at your celebration, then they can be mad. Well, then go get your fucking card back. Take your twenty dollars, you son of a bitch. Exactly. Exactly. Shut up. You're welcome for the free food and drink. Oddly, with with everything we made, we still I think we still came out a little short as far really? as making our money back. Oh. We paid we were in a we were luckily in we were in a position um to where we we paid for a lot of it like really? we, yeah and i'm not going to say that other people didn't help us you know her parents my parents and everything but i didn't no I, you, I mean you bought me vodka i guess that counts i bought you a shitload of vodka <laughs> i'm still drinking it <laughs> still working your way through yeah speaking of i was the drinking down in jamaica dude it was amazing they they try to get you drunk at all times um, no matter where you're at, they will, there's someone that will come around and be like, you want something from the bar? Uh, but I would try everything. Like they, I would just be like, just, what do you think tastes good? Throw it at me. And they, cause if I didn't like it, I just push it to the side and tell them to give me another drink. Like, are you sure you want another one? And you go, um, yes. I need my protein after my workout. Obviously. Right. I just, I need, I need all of it. I just need it all. All the protein. And they're telling me, like, sir, you really, you really need to cut back. I, I think you're too drunk pissed. and you just go, hey. you shut the fuck up. I'm in the middle of celebrating, you motherfucker. Congratulations. We got you to the back, back to where you could. Back to where I need to be. Yeah. I'm back on top. That's right. Well, I'm not. I'm always on the bottom. I know. I know. Have How you, do you know? You can't move. That's a good point. <laughs> it's a, I've, I mean, it's valid. I, I've I've seen you stand up out of a chair. Imagine, I, yeah. Hey, yo, if uh, if you were gay, would you tell me? Yeah. Okay. I just want to make sure that it wouldn't like we're at that friendship where you would tell me instead of like, I'd have you over and then you just like bring this random guy. I'm like, oh, yeah, brought a friend, and then later on I find out that you're like kissing him, and I'm like, what the hell, man. What what the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> Dude, I just wanted to throw you a curveball. My whole <laughs> I, I came up with this on the way down. I'm like, I'm just gonna ask you if you're like if you're gay, would you tell me? Yeah, it's 2019, man. It's okay to be gay. It's actually preferable. Yeah. Cause it's it's okay to be gay. It's okay to be yeah. trans. It's okay to sure. be um identify as a different race and a and Accept no. all the privileges that come along with that. No, you can't do the race. You can't. Yeah, you can, you can. do gender. No, it's acceptable. Um, it's acceptable to identify as a different age and then be able to sleep with minors. Like it's, it's a new accepting world. Well, I do I know that it. the den of debauchery is pushing for uh, pedophilia to just take the stigma away. Let's take the stigma away. <laughs> <laughs> That was my favorite, favorite thing that we did. So we haven't been pulled down yet. No, we have not. But I'm waiting for that. But that's yeah, because it's, no it's one gonna, fucking it's knows. Happen. That's why I was saying. Like, I was actually, like, worried. And then I was like, why the fuck? What? I was like, oh, we oh, get... Oh, it says royalty free. We get... We get... Yeah. So, yeah, I found a, I found a different version. Oh. <laughs> So that's that's on standby if we need to make an inspirational speech. I don't think I have anything inspirational to say, but sure you do. You believe in it, man. We just come up with the most worst, awful shit, and then you stand on it like it's it, like you're dying on that hill. Okay, so uh, you brought up the the article when I was gone about little baby fetuses or something like that. Oh yeah, the discovered in some country. Yeah, right, and. Uh, my you, my used for some ritual. Yeah, my first thought was like, "Come on, guys! You never heard of rabbit's feet? Like, <laughs> like you what know, about, clearly rabbit's foot hasn't been working. Let's try fetuses on our keychain. Let's try candied ba pickled babies. <laughs> <laughs> pickled feet. Maybe it'll give you good luck. You know. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe. Maybe they're being shipped there so that like pedophiles can like try and control their urges. I don't know. Maybe some like some super rich pedophile bought it and was like, I don't want to fuck kids, but if it's a dead kid, who's it hurting? Who am I hurting? Yeah. <laughs> uh, thank you, Louis C.K. <laughs> uh, 
Who I'm going to see, by the way. Oh, yeah? When? January? Is that right? Yeah, in January. Oh, man. That's going to be so much fucking fun. Yeah. I fucking love it. Um, I'll record it and put it on Den of Debauchery. This, uh, Let him get pissed. This Thursday. Kill Tony. That's right. I'm super excited. Yeah. Down here in Columbus, huh? Yep. Paid $100 just to maybe tell for the, a minute. For the chance. Of, for the chance to tell a minute of jokes. It's <laughs> 100 bucks. Uh, yeah, you give it a little bit extra. I, I paid extra to be near the front. That way I didn't have to, like, fight. Right, so they can stage. insult you. Yeah, exactly. For less time as you're walking up. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Fucking, I love Tony's voice. Uh, Kevin hates it. Really? Yeah, he cannot stand Tony Hitchcliffe's voice. Yeah, he's, he's quick-witted, though. I love when he slams people. He's, He's one quick. of the best roasters hey, around. Dom Herrera. Dom Herrera is the fucking best on that show. I fucking love Dom. And they have that dude that does pretty well. He comes up there, uh, Lucas, something Lucas, Mike Lucas, or whatever. He's uh, he's like a regular on the oh, show. Oh, one of the regular yeah. regulars. Yeah. Frank Lucas. No, that's a... That's an old mob. Boss. No idea who you're talking about. Don't worry about it. Not anyway, anyway. I'm, I've already forgotten. Let's let's move on to something more exciting okay. and more near and dear to our hearts. All right, there, Daniel. Um, no, so Dar- right by my, what's that? Just go ahead. Whatever, Daryl. I'm out. That's fine. All right, so I'm throwing a hissy fit there. Yep. Yeah. Damien, Jesus. Um, so, right by my house, as we were driving up here. <laughs> We literally, yeah. I would say, two blocks from my house. What did we see, Derek? Well, you know, I'm because I'm trying to get familiar with the place or whatever, so I'm just shouting out like buildings and shit. Like, a, he's, there's like a factory or some type of warehouse that I say the name of, and it doesn't. And then I go, Duh, Scientology. <laughs> I went, what? I go, there's a Scientology center right there. I turn my head, and there's a big building. They're putting up Christmas decorations, which confusing and because that's not their religion um they're putting up christmas decorations and there's just a giant sign that says scientology center that's very nice in there and it looks super nice they're mm-hmm. well funded and i jammed on the brakes and turned around and like we were gonna pull in but it was like blocked off yeah they had like a cherry picker they yeah. were putting the lights on because it's a huge tree yeah so like we just pulled around and then Turned around again and just drove by it, by it slowly. Like, it definitely looked like we were... We definitely looked creepy as fuck. And you just blatantly stuck your hand out the window and took, like, eight pictures of the building. That's all right, because they, they're going to... Like, they already have your car yeah. memorized. So oh, when you I guarantee pull, When it. you pull in to get some information... I can do it. Like, yes, I am interested in learning more about the church. I'm like, why are you taking photos? And I was like, so I would remember the address. Um, well, where do you live? Uh, just far, right, far away. Yeah, I had to, I, I came back from you know Wisconsin to to be here. And they're um, like, oh, small town, trying to make it big. We got one. I, I legitimately think that like I should go in there and just. I am so curious to know. Yeah, like how they, the process. How they greet you and everything. It's basically like it's like a grooming process, really. Mm-hmm. Like they bring in people, like because that's how, like you heard like Joe Rogan talk about it. Like they, like slowly introduce you to the idea. Well, they like slowly, like hey, like super nice, like this is our facilities. You know, this is what we like to do, and like it's very like you know, nice and relaxed. And they slowly start introducing you to the idea the that there's crazier and crazier shit out there. Well, I think you should be upfront. Um, if they ask you like why you've been there or why you're there or why you're interested, just be like, look, you know, I've, I've heard some things. I've, I've read some things. I just, I, I want to know if it's true. No, you should be like, I want to be the guy that hides John Travolta's bodies. Like I want to, I want to cover I up. Him. Yeah. I want to cover up any of the deaths that he Where are the bodies, commits. John? Yeah. Where are the bodies, John? Cause uh, that guy's insane. Yeah, you've been watching his because of your mom's house. You've been seeing like his Instagram. Posts yeah, I and went. Shit. I went and did a little bit of a dive on it, and it's, it's so weird. He's crazy. He's so weird. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I just remember him uh, talking 
like uh, he was looking for, he was acting like he was trying to hunt down. Uh, who's his Sandy. Co- Sandy. Yeah, he was trying Sandy. to hunt. Sandy. Oh my God, Sandy. And he was just trying to hunt, well, like well, hunt you know her why, down right? in Australia. I don't know. They're on a reunion tour or some shit. I think something like that. They were doing a meet and greet. So he knew that she was like there because they, they both were going to do this meet and greet. It just, it didn't make any sense. So that was how he promoted it was like. Sandy. Oh, where in the world is Sandy? Oh my God! Well, if I can't find her, but she'll definitely be here. That's what he. Did. I know she's definitely gonna show up here. Oh my God! Yeah, that's exactly what he was doing. <laughs> that was a promotion to get people to come out to his, get people to come out to his uh, his reunion his... show. Which why are they even doing that? Just he doesn't cause... need any more money. Yes, he does. He's got how many freaking? Oh, he's probably paying hush money to some masseuses out there. <laughs> Some massages. Is is he still with his wife? Is he still pretending that he's straight? I'm not sure. I know he, I know his daughter, like I think his daughter helps him with his uh social media. Really? I'm almost certain. Uh there was You'd I, think it would be better then. Because there was one time where he's like there's a video of him like playing with a train, I think, or something like that. And he's like so in, in the caption, he was saying how she helped him edit the video. And then and then I see her, who she's also verified. She's like, this is such a great photo of, or video of you, Dad, and stuff like that. I'm like, whoa, that's really weird. Oh, look at this. Dan Soder, HBO special promotion. Look at that. By Ari Shafir. Yeah. I'm actually excited for that. It's uh, It's already out. Son of a Gary is out. Came out to December seventh. That's today. Look at that. Oh, neato. Maybe after we're done recording, we'll watch a little Son of a Gary. I'm glad he finally shaved his head, though. That's a step in the right direction. Yeah, he looks he looks better bald. Way better, way better. He's got a great bald head, and he doesn't even dye the beard. I re- I respect it. It looks great. Looks ten times better. Oh, look at that. He's with uh, Marlon Wayans. How about that? I gotta be honest, there are so many Wayneses that I wasn't 100% sure that I was about yeah, to say the right is name. Is that 50 Cent? No way. Where? Up. Right there. That is 50 Cent. He's shaking hands with 50 in a bad wig. That Look at that. bad. About that. Look at this. The Poison Rose? What is that? He's in a... So many... He's movies. been in a movie. So many shitty movies. Wow. Well, that was a tangent that didn't go anywhere. But anyway, circling back to Scientology. Yeah. This I'm crazy... Scientologist himself. Um, I I think legitimately I should go in there and uh, see if I can record mm-hmm. any of the just conversation. Put it right in just, your, just put it in your pocket and go in. Yeah, and we can put that out as its own thing. That would be so entertaining. Mm-hmm. If we title this Scientology, we'll get a lot more hits. We will get a lot more hits. And Scientology uh, sucks. Yeah, and then I'm waiting for because every time like uh, Joe Rogan had someone. For scient- talking against Scientology on his podcast, the yeah. people from Scientology would go on there in the mentions and just just like destroy just, Joe Rogan. Well, yeah, like, try to be like yeah. Oh, it was clearly all fake. You know, you know, like they this were is like all made up. Yeah, like you could Dude, see them. It was almost like bots. Ever, did you watch any of that interview with like uh, with Leah Remini? Yeah, I watched that one, and I watched uh, the guy's uh, father on there as well. Dude, like that it that shit is nuts. The fact that, like, you have to, you're encouraged to never, ever look up any information. I mean, it's a, it's a cult in every sense of the word. Oh, yeah. I mean, I, I mean, you can make the argument that all religion is a form of a cult, but that one is bad. Well, with the, with but the if chanting. you stop, if you stop showing up to church, people most of the time don't, don't start trying to hunt you down or don't excommunicate you or don't try to leverage your own family against you. This is a really upbeat episode. I'm glad. Glad we did this. Glad we're here sharing all these positive stories. I never said that I wanted to bring people cheer. I don't. Never wanted to bring people what? Cheer. Oh. Happiness. I mean, how many more synonyms do you need? Two more. I'm, 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 I'm tapped out, actually. Happiness But that's is... what I need. Come on. I'm so it's, close. It's not protein. I'm though. so close. I get, I, get off, I get off on synonyms. Come on, man. No, shut up. No. Now, I guess we should uh, address your co-host who couldn't be here today. I guess. Yeah, but we understand. Like, if 
Um, well, I mean, he works a couple jobs. Yeah, he has two jobs. Everybody knows he has two jobs. Yeah. And, you know, I don't, like, I'm not going to hold it against him for not being able to make it here, like, you know, one time and, like, treat him like dog shit and just forget about him. Yeah. Now, I will tell you that I, I am waiting that. for, for a uh, wedding gift from him, but I haven't received it. <laughs> Uh, and he was like, "Yeah." I was like, "Dude, if you if you're not invited to the wedding, like you're in the clear." I was mm-hmm. like, "You guys met like a couple of months ago. Like you like I'm pretty sure you guys like met and hung out like twice. Twice, I think." Yeah. And I was like, "I was like, I appreciate where your head's at, but you you definitely don't have to get him a gift." I was like, "You're you're fine." <laughs> I mean, just, I want one, but it's, it's, like, he's yeah. like, I guess you don't have to. You can shut the fuck up. He absolutely can and will bring me a gift, <laughs> That's and right. I will be pissed until I get it. That's right. <laughs> and then go to his baby shower, or his baby, yeah, baby shower. Like, baby shower, diaper dash. I didn't go to the baby shower. I missed the baby shower. For your own kid. I didn't want it to come out, and I miss, I missed the birth, too. I didn't want it to come out looking like me. Well, it came out. It came out all right because, uh, <laughs> you know, it didn't have like the nose got out perfectly. So you know, it's it's probably good. Oh yeah, the nose doesn't grow until later. No, so we're we're not out of the woods didn't, yet. Didn't come out like a fucking shark. Yeah, and... we're not we're not out of the woods yet. <laughs> right. Oh my god, how about that story of him sitting waiting to take the paternity test? I didn't realize that that's how it happened. I assumed that he just provided his DNA well, separately and they all brought it in. I didn't realize yeah. they all had to sit in a room. That's weird because I'm not sure if my friend had to do that or not. Whether he had to go to, you know, be in that uncomfortable waiting room or he was able to send it in separately. I'm not sure. But I'll tell you what, even if I thought it was my kid, I'd definitely have, like, you send your DNA in. <laughs> if, I didn't, if I didn't want to be with the girl. <laughs> like, yeah, I'll just swab this right here. Real quick. I'm like, yeah, just submit your DNA. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll, uh, I'll get He's right on. Clearly that. not the father. There is. <laughs> no, not the father. What? It turns out that he is the father. Like that episode of Archer where he swaps his blood out with Cyril's and it turns out Cyril was the dad. So Archer gets stuck with being the dad. <laughs> oh, so you're, a, you're, a, you're adulting now. I am adulting. We are in... The studio. I bought a two bedroom so that we could have a studio. I've set it up to make it as comfortable as possible. Advancing the technology. Everything's been going great. Um, I work in a factory now. I hate it. You're really adulting then. I, I'm super adulting. You know what? Um, somebody there legitimately said to me, like in training, it was like, I love glass. He's like, I've been working in it for, you know, however many years. You know, I just, I just love it. Gets, I'm my, like, gets my dick hard. I'm like, dude, what the fuck are you talking about? You almost are like, dude, just fucking relax, man. You ever met somebody that, like, I believe there are people out there that convince themselves that they love something so that it's easier to wake up in the morning. Like, I think he's just talked himself into, like, he's a giant ball of stress. He's, he's working, like, too many hours. And... I think in order to, like, show up every day and keep working like that, he just had to convince himself that he's doing what he loves. Nobody, and I mean fucking nobody, dreams of being upper-level management in a factory when they're a kid. Nobody. Yeah, I've The only people that, that like, yeah. in- inherently are, like, managers or, like, Jews. Now. That, like, it's in their DNA. I do want to ask you, how many deaf people do you work with? Uh, none, but I do because work with a couple of Mexican guys with thick accents and broken English and uh, an Asian guy with a thick accent and broken English. So just so you know, that's called factories. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. When I worked in a factory, it was just all Mexicans that could barely speak English. and Or, I, or sometimes I would feel like they were just like acting like they didn't understand as much as they actually did, but... Oh, yeah, you definitely use that card to your advantage. But it's so difficult because the machines are loud as shit, and Mm -hmm. we have to wear earplugs, and then we're shouting at each other, and it's so difficult. Like, you throw a thick... Even if it's something, like, they know how to say, it's just, like, an accent, plus loud noise, plus my bad hearing, plus the earplugs. It's like, fuck, this is impossible. Yeah, it's... 
It was difficult when I worked in there. Can't can't fucking handle it. But uh, I can't be I can't believe how many Caleb works with the deaf people. Yeah, yeah. Uh, That's such a very weird large community. Yeah, like a big cluster. Like I they mean, definitely it makes sense. Like, like how did they? How did they hear about the job? <laughs> We're gonna do, we're gonna do like nasal laugh after after jokes like that. Oh my god! It was in freaking uh, deaf people are not you know. It was guess, in their weekly newsletter. I guess maybe there was a sign. Hmm. <laughs> they just felt it out. Braille. That was a reach, but it was braille. It was a braille joke. That's for blind people. I know. God damn it! I remember. <laughs> Why did I say braille? <laughs> Yeah, yeah, that's blind people, for sure. <laughs> How would Braille help a deaf person? Hey, we should be we should put captions on so uh, so they could fucking listen to us. I, I, I think there is. I, I usually have them set on. Um, like, I don't, like, do anything for it, but I think YouTube just automatically provides captions. Good, because I want to, um, I want that guy to listen to, uh, can you want him try to listen? To, yeah. You want him to listen? Yeah. Well, I want to... Oh, no, the, the the guy that uh, actually speak like... Oh, it, yeah. The guy just has deaf parents. Is it deaf parents or is it deaf kids? Deaf parents, I think. No. Oh. Either way, put your fucking... Keep your fingers to your goddamn self. You know what I mean? Tell that to Biz, Bill Cosby. He does. When they're awake. That's a good point. It's like we were just making like, I don't know if it is a Dave Attell joke, but it sounds like it would be one. Don't you hate when you're fucking a chick and she wakes up? Isn't that the worst? Like, definitely like that is. <laughs> yeah, I can't remember what I said to, to get you on that. I don't know. We we do a lot of random shit. It's almost like we're funnier off mic, but the mic's hot, coming in hot. I know. As soon as we turn it on, it's, I I develop autism. I can't focus. That's not funny. I have to say that I'm married. Oh yeah, yeah. To your social worker wife. Speaking of which, we watched uh, a Shia LaBeouf movie last night. Mm-hmm. The Peanut Butter Falcon. Mm-hmm. There is a uh, person of the Downsian persuasion on that. Downsian <laughs> persuasion. <laughs> That's how you okay. You can just say he has Down syndrome. Yeah, he has he has Down syndrome. Uh, He's got the Downs. Yeah, he got got a case of the Downs. Um, and then he wants to. He lives in a nursing home because they don't have anywhere else to put him. So he, and he fucking hates it. Uh, he wants to be a wrestler. He has like old wrestling tapes, and he wants to be a wrestler. <laughs> okay. So. He escapes. He runs away from the um, from the old folks' home, and then meets up with Shia on the on his way. Like, and then they kind of travel together and funny stuff. Is so he's just is. traveling with this random stranger, and this random stranger is traveling with this random dude with Downs. Mm-hmm. That's exactly how it went. Okay. Sounds like one of those attempts at an Oscar movies that I would find boring. Ah, no, actually, I did not find it boring at all. I enjoyed mm. it a lot. Um, I think it was because... Uh, yeah, but you have bad taste. I, ca- I think Sir Downs uh, kept me interested the whole time. Sir Downs? Yeah, I don't know what else to call him. I mean... <laughs> Mr. Se- <laughs> Senior <laughs> Downzo over there. <laughs> what the fuck do you mean, Sir Downs? <laughs> Yeah, I, Jesus I, Christ. She, uh, my wife appreciates none of these. How do you love? How much do you love being able to say your wife? I don't. You I don't, don't like it. It's, you just it, said it though. I know it's weird to me. Um, it's, it's also so, weird to me to think of you as a married man. Exactly. It's just it's it hasn't sucked in yet. Yeah. Uh, I hate my ring. I hate wearing it. Right now, it's like I don't notice it nearly as much when I'm wearing it. But if when I grab something and it like hits. Yeah. Whatever. You should get one of those rubber ones to wear like every day. We thought about it, but that's the the only one one. I would wear. Like if it was, if it bothered me, like I'd wear like a rubber one. Yeah. Well, she spent money on it, so yeah, I gotta wear it. Yeah. The the 
Yeah, you say she spent money on it, but I bet it's a shockingly high price difference between the two. <laughs> it, it is a... This was less than her band. Her engagement ring, obviously, more, but her band, which is just something, a little tiny band that you put on the engagement ring, right. costs more than this. Yeah. I wish, like... I wonder if... Well... I guess be like if I was gay, then you tell I mean, me. You, <laughs> that's the type of friends we are, man. No, okay. I guess and if, I we, if we were gay, we can get out of there for like six hundred bucks for two rings, man. You think? Yeah, that's not bad. Yeah, we'll divorce her. Let's go. Let's go get married. Fuck it. <laughs> I'd go back to Jamaica. Oh yeah. Yeah, but we need to separate rooms. Why? Because I'm like, I'm not actually gay. I just want the rings. I just want less money on the rings. Dude, if we're not going down to Jamaica to just butt fuck for a full week, then like I don't want to go. Like you're you're ruining this for me. All right. Well, I mean, there is an all natural beach there. Oh, meaning like nude. Mm-hmm. They call it all natural. All e na- EU natural. That's how you describe a food product. All natural ingredients. Yeah. Yeah. There's a so, couple. So wait a minute. Does that mean women with fake tits can't? <laughs> can't be on the beach. Oh, that would be funny if I went and I was like, those, those titties really? Get out of here. This is an all-natural beach. Thank you. Yeah. You, sir, clearly on steroids. That's why I haven't shaved in you know, a month. Natural. <laughs> <laughs> you can tell, man. I can actually see a little bit of line under your chin. That's been a full month. I wasn't talking about that, but yeah. Yeah, good for you, buddy. No, I don't know what this is. I don't know. No, I don't think it's been a month. Yeah. It's a couple of weeks. It's a couple of weeks. It's a couple of weeks, growth. man. That's Jesus. all I get. That's all I get, and it gets it gets annoying. If it gets too much more than this, I'm gonna end up itching, and then I'll shave it. Yeah, it's. I hate it. I hate yeah. facial hair. Dude, uh, even if I could grow it, I don't. So think I when I was uh, shopping for stuff for my apartment. Uh, there was a du- a kid walked up to me and goes, how old do I look? You uh-huh. could tell like he and his friend were having an argument and I went 12. And you know, he was, he was, he was, was that honest or were you just uh, fucking him up? Yeah, it was honest. And he was like, uh, and the other kid goes up and how old do I looked? And he was growing out the worst beard I've ever seen. Like it's a 13 year old beard. Like. Like, it's actually worse than yours, and he is, like, growing it in, and it's, like, red and, like, very, like, fuzzy, like, light, like, light and airy fuzziness. Like, it's, I, I don't know how to describe it. And it just, it was, it was awful. And he just asked, and I gave him the same answer, and he's like, what? Uh, uh, and I said, hey, man, just a, a tip, if you want it, you definitely shave. You're, it's not ready. And he he like he walked away mad. That kid was mad. Should have punched like, you in the fucking face, man. I'm trying to do him a favor because zero women will touch his dick with his face looking like that. Well, I mean, you have a full beard. Zero women touch your dick. I mean, but that's my choice, you know. I'm celibate. I'm, I'm by pure. Choice. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm pure. Well, you will be when you go to Scientology. Yeah, exactly. I would purify myself in, in the lakes of men. In the lakes, or in the waters of Lake Minnetonka, <laughs> I'm gonna pure myself, purify myself by getting my thetans removed from my body. Yeah, what the fuck are a thetan? Uh, the thetans the, are the negative, uh, the bad spirits yeah. that are left over from the first people that uh, the evil lord Zeno uh, dropped off uh, in planes that look like DC, in spaceships that look like DC eights. He dropped them off into the volcanoes on Earth. And their spirits left and came into, like, the first men on Earth. And they are the cause of all the bad stuff that human beings do. Congratulations, everyone. You just got uh, educated. Yeah. I I learned this from an episode of South Park. Yep. That's literally how I learned. Cthulhu! (laughs) That is how I learned a shockingly high amount of my information. (laughs) Well, yeah, for cartoons and shit like that. I mean, there's always a basis of truth when you're making fun of something. That's true. That's true. 
Which means if, if if that's the basis of truth, if that's the the marker for the basis of truth is like if you're making fun of it, then our show is true as fuck. Hey man, you got you got to read. Uh, uh, we'll take a quick break and I'll come back with the read. All right, guys, and now it's time for a word from the very first sponsor of. The Den of Debauchery podcast. Whoop whoop. So, uh, do you love quality homemade pizza but don't want to do the work yourself? You could order delivery, but then the pizza isn't fresh by the time it shows up to your door. What if you could have fresh homemade pizza in your very own kitchen without doing any of the work? You could have your wife or girlfriend do it for you, but let's be honest, she left you a long time ago for your drinking. That's why you need homemade pizza. That's H-O dash made pizza. Pizza made by hoes. With homemade pizza, the women come directly to your door. They make the pizza. They put it in the oven. And whatever happens while the pizza is cooking is between two consenting adults. Homemade pizza is in no way advocates sex work or prostitution. You are paying for the pizza and the ladies' time. Should any sex occur and STDs are transferred from person to person, homemade pizza is not liable. Huh. Great service, man. I thought it. I thought it was home. I thought it was homemade. Home. Be, homemade. Homemade. Home. I get it. It's made uh, by hoes. Is that a legit business? I mean, that's uh, obviously. I mean, they they sent us a real check with real money. So that's why we be, have all this fancy gear. Yeah, that's why we have all this this fancy gear. Yeah. Thank, thanks, home, homemade pizza. Remember, guys, they're don't not for, responsible for any STDs. Don't transfer. forget to go to homemade pizza, ho, ho made pizza.com. Use the promo code DEN for 20% off your first pizza. And, you know, this isn't our first, oh, though. Oh, and it also gets their uh, uh, free hand job. I mean, uh, hot sauce. Hot sauce. You know, you forgot STC. It's not our first. We had a sponsor. What are you talking about? Yeah, STC. You keep saying we as if we have a show. The the. the this is yeah. your first time. Oh, this is your first. This is your first mm. time on the show, Donald. Listen, like this is not. You guys had you guys had a sponsor STC, and then I heard that you like you insulted them in some way, and and then they they pulled it. So yeah. this is our neck. This is our new. But it's our right. first. You're right. Multiple sponsors on this podcast. Multiple, right. real, legitimate sponsors. Yep. Oh, also speaking of which, um, speaking of numbers and multiple, have you looked up our subscriber? I have looked up our subscribers. We have. Forty-eight, which means we officially have dozens and dozens of subscribers. Mm. Ooh, yeah. Yeah, we should do. <laughs> we should do all those like fucking uh, uh, radio guys. Ooh, yeah. Ooh. In the morning. Oh, it's the den of debauchery in the m- 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 morning. Oh, uh, I, uh... oh. Welcome back to the den of debauchery, all forty-eight of you listeners. Uh, uh. Keep it down back there. Yeah. Yeah. I love I'm glad it. our sound our soundboard isn't as lame as that. <laughs> I wish I had all those sounds. You, you don't. Yeah, I, we you would don't think I would. Use them. You don't think I would use them if For I had sure. those. I mean, I I wish I had a freaking cat dying sound. <laughs> Poor kittens. Rest in peace. Uh. Kittens is the dead body that this empire was built upon. So, have you spoke with, uh, with, uh, what, JB? BJ? BJ? I don't fucking know his name. Um, yeah, I, I wish that I had, uh, basically he texted me on the day that we were supposed to record and said, oh, my bad, dude, I fell asleep, oh, sorry, dad. Oh, and I'm like, fuck you, out, Chad. Uh, I was like, oh, sup, my bad, bro. Was he, like, hung over on seltzer water? Why was he? I don't know. Maybe maybe he was busy cleaning it up. Somebody spilled because they didn't clean it up 
himself. He, he just had a horrible it. night. He couldn't let it go for exactly. months and months that they didn't clean up seltzer water. Although, I still think he's in the right. <laughs> he is not in the right. <laughs> he's a piece of shit. I don't think so. <laughs> he said... So he... Oh, and that, that politician is still, like, currently Actively. trying to chat him up. Actively trying to chat him up. So I feel like we should... I th- You know what we should do? We should do, like, a To Catch a Predator sting operation. <laughs> You're just going to be going rogue for us all um, for the dinner debacle. Yeah, exactly. You're going to be going yeah. Scientology. I'm not, I'm, not, or... I'm not an undercover field journalist. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck not... the glass factory. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. I'm, go- I'm going in deep undercover. I'm, I'm going to show up there and be like, after the, the dude walks in expecting to see BJ, it's like, why don't, you, why don't you take a seat right here? Why don't you, why don't you sit down? Chris Hansen style. No, I think I should do that because uh, if he tries to get away, there's no way I'm going to stop him. Like, you could at least tackle oh, I'm gonna, him. I'm going to be the security? Yeah. I'm going to be the cops waiting to tackle him in the bushes? Yeah. I it's... love that they waited till he got outside. Like, they didn't handle it inside. They, like, they waited until he tried to take it out. So, so the cop could spear a pedophile. <laughs> I, it's def, it was definitely done on purpose. By so the way, that the cops could work out some rage. That is, by far, some of the best television. Oh, I've without ever seen. question. Without question. I love it. I fucking... Dude, the I was just the way out, that know, like they stuff. just um like they go along with it because they're so like realize they're so busted, so they just go along with whatever they're told. Like they're just they're thinking like I just I just gotta oh no, no, no they're no. always gonna talk their way out. That's what they think. I'm gonna, I'm just gonna talk my way out. Yeah, I'm just gonna be polite and they're gonna forgive the fact that I diddled children or attempted to. It's gonna be fine. See, they don't bring but they don't bring them in unless they got something to actually incriminate them with. You know important. what I mean? Like, you have to, like, show, you have to send nude pictures or, you know what I mean? It's more than just talking. Mm. Hmm. I, I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure all these people have at least once, uh, she, like, sent a picture. That way they can, No, know. if if you're, uh, it's the fact that they're meeting up with the intention of acting. That's up. all they need is the intention. Yeah, like they're attempting to have sex with I, that girl, I so they, they say should... out loud like they they're coming there for the express purpose of fucking a girl. Like they have them make sure that they talk explicit and make sure they get them <laughs> to say that they want to do these things, and they're coming over to do those. Now, things. Now I've seen it, and I I think it's a little bit harsh on them, uh, mainly because <laughs> is oh oh they're being too harsh on the yeah, phone. Yeah, okay, because they don't even right. put a like a fourteen year old in a nighty. You know what I mean? Like, he doesn't even get to look even a little bit. Yeah, I, I hear what you're saying. Mm-hmm. And you know what? It's kind of go rude. ahead, Go ahead, stand up for what you believe in. <laughs> I, I, I would love to hear you defend your position on uh, pedophiles not being that bad and they need to be given a break. No, no, no. Just the ones that are, like, on national television. Like, you're telling me that they can't just cup a feel? You know what I mean? You're t- okay. What they could use like, they, they can pay homeless children off the street for it. You know, hey, you got a job? Just get you know, have them cup your ass or something like that, and we'll give you a couple hundred. Okay. Um. <laughs> am I am so, I am I on so the wrong side of the fence here? Yeah. Basically, what you're saying is yeah. that the solution to pedophiles is to just let them do what no, they no, 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 no. I'm yeah. saying he go, he's getting there. He's all ready for it. And and I say he because I've never once seen a female on that fucking show. T- uh, well, they're you know all the teachers that bang their students like twelve year olds. That's a good point. Isn't that weird? A well, hot, she goes and to hot the, teachers too. Hot teachers, it's usually hot 12, teachers that are like twelve year old boys. That's because they're they're not getting anything at home. Like they don't have a boyfriend. But that's or something. so weird. And like they could easily go out and get laid, easily. and they want to fuck. Yeah, that doesn't make any sense to me. And that's that's something that I actually do believe in is that we should, um, dick down hot teachers so that they don't do this. And I think you want to do that. That together, yeah. If we all joined forces and worked hard as Americans. Each and every one of those teachers could be stuffed. Stuffed with some classic adult pipe. So go ahead. 
Pick up a phone. Pick. Call Yale Reams. He will come and lay the pipe. I will come. Literally. You probably won't, if we're going to be honest. But you will at least satiate the hunger for a little bit and avoid trying to fuck a child. Help today at touchtheteachers.com. I think that was real uplifting. I think a lot of people will really <laughs> like that message. I, I'm a fan. Personally, Dude, I'm a fan. What if we did make a uh, like a website or a hotline where like teachers that are thinking about fucking their their students, they're like, I've got you know Billy in class, and you're like, well, what does Billy wear? Because I'll I show up to your house wearing what Billy wears. Showed up, and I will I will keep my f- face shaved. I'll like I'll lose some weight so that I look like a younger younger boy. I'll wear a wig where mm-hmm. my hairline isn't f- as far back. Yep. I'll even sh- let like just the whisper of a mustache grow in and shave everything else down, right? To give the hint of like I'm just going through puberty, right? We can do it in the in the classroom if that's really what they want. I mean, it's whatever. It's their fantasy, and you'll do it free of charge. Free of charge. Free it's, of charge. <laughs> it's a great no, I'm service. No, ex- I, I want to get paid for this. Why would you get paid for? They're like calling you, just be like, hey, can you have sex with me? I would. The sex is enough. I mean, they fuck them. They're wannabe pedophiles. Yeah, uh, you gotta, but, you're gonna have to pay me. Yeah, but think about you it. You sick pieces of shit. Not only are they out money, they're out. They're now they're disappointed in you know, after the sex. But so you were the one like that was supporting win. pedophiles. I'd love, I'd love no. to hear you. Yeah, you were I was, saying I was not supporting. What was your idea? Go, go ahead, pitch, pitch your idea. Let's. No, it wasn't my idea. What I'm saying what is, saying? is they get, they get to the they get to the place and there's not, you know, there's there's a. Was a college kid normally that they used? What? Oh yeah, like the, like, like a, a nineteen twenty year old actress right. that like looked super young. Right. But he never gets to touch him. He never gets to to look at the supple shoulders where like she's wearing a spaghetti strap and the sho- and the spaghetti strap falls off her shoulder. And he goes, oh, and he and he fixes it ever so gently, puts it back on her shoulder for her. She blushes at his touch. Okay, I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> I can't do this. This is awful. They all need to go to fucking jail like they do. Chris Hansen's a saint. I can't do it. I couldn't do it. I bailed out. I wanted. I wanted to stick to. But if I, do you want me to do it? It's Here, I'll, I'll take the. I'll take the position but, of they should let him. Let but, him fuck. But there is going to be that one person that's listening. Like they were like, hey, he was getting like half hard, and then I was like, I can't do it. He's like, God damn it! Come on, I was so close. <laughs> no. What what no what they should it would be like the that detective from South Park, the guy that like fucks everybody and then arrests them, like he prison <laughs> yeah. hooker. Yeah, yeah all right. detective. All right. and you'd be like, oh yeah, I want a blow job. I'll I'll give you twenty dollars. That's fair. All right, here we go. And he does it, and he's like, put your he's hands like, oh, up. I'm, I'm sorry, I was so quick. That's all right, baby. Nothing wrong with that. Freeze. <laughs> that's what you're gonna do with pedophiles. You're gonna like, no, but, basically but, you want them to be able to no, like no. feel up the kid and then be like, "Psych, I'm a 19 year old cop, buddy." Right, and then <laughs> so the night the 19 year old, the guy got like a little bit of feel. You know how many infectious diseases that cop would have. <laughs> The the 19 year old, you know, had a cop would be a petri dish, a, a pedophile petri dish. Ooh, I think we just got the name of the episode. Yeah, I think that's a good one. <laughs> but, a pedophile petri dish. Joke's on you guys. You had to wait till the end of the podcast for us to get good. Ooh. I'll just delete the first half of the podcast. <laughs> the whole first half. <laughs> the, the whole thing. The intro. You have to redo it. But uh, I was I think, really painting a picture, though, wasn't I? You, you painted an excellent picture. Yeah. And I think that's a good note for us to go out on. And right. I would like to... To thank um, Damien for being here. God damn um, it! It's an honor to have you on the podcast for the first time. Uh, yeah. I think you know. Well, let's here. let's do another one. Let's do another one real soon. This is maybe next week. Yeah, I mean maybe. This has been the dinner debauchery, everyone. Thank you.